lunch. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is an exciting video because it's all about the books that I used to read when I was little. So let's go and find some of those books because um, my mum keeps everything. So this is our study and this is our massive bookshelf. As you can see, we're all a, we're a big family of readers. So let's have a look what some of these books are up here. I've got my favorite, Jensen Button. Harry Potter, another Formula One book, uh, learning French, um, oh, Princess Diaries, I love Princess Diaries. Okay, so I'm gonna have a look through our bookshelf and see if I can find some of my favorite books from when I was little. So we've got, oh, Traction Man. I used to like these books. Uh, I've got three of them here. Traction Man is here. Traction Man is at the beach. And Traction Man, is back. What else have we got? Uh, oh, have you, oh, I love this book. So this is called Red Riding Hood Was Rotten and it's kind of, it's like a twisted tale. So it's the story of Little Red Riding Hood, but um, making out the wolf to be the victim and Little Red Riding Hood is actually the bad guy that was um, pretending to be all sweet and innocent. Um, and I've got, oh, this is a very similar one. This is the true story of the Three Little Pigs. I actually like this book so much that I did this with my class when I was in year three, four. Um, and it's, again, it makes out that um, the wolf is the good guy and is really just making the birthday cake to give to the pigs. And the pigs are the bad guys and I absolutely love that book. Um, oh, everybody's favorite. I mean, come on, the Gruffalo just love that one um i have got what are these ones oh they used to be oh i wonder if i still got it so there used to be one book that um probably me and my sister would agree was our favorite book when we were growing up um and it's called when mum turned into a monster um and it's a story all about um a mum who is trying to take care of her children all day who are trying to make the day nice for their mum but everything they do goes wrong and they end up causing a nightmare and then as the book goes on the mum starts to like grow um like antennae and tails and scales until right at the very end she's this weird looking monster because she's so stressed and then I think at the end of the day they make her a cup of tea and she turns back to normal. If I can find the book I will show it you. So I'm just going to find some of the ones that I liked when I was a little bit older. Okay, I've got some more books. Ooh. So I'm going to start with what was probably when I was about I think nine or ten um, and it's, I don't know if you can see that, it's the Far Away Tree Collection um, by Enid Blyton and I have read this book over and over and over and over again. Still got a bookmark in here, I was clearly only halfway through reading it last time. Um, <coughs> that does. So I loved this book because it um, was like a collection of lots of little stories about three children who move to a new house and go for a walk through the woods and they discover this big tree and in the tree are lots of l weird and wonderful people that live there and then at the very top of the tree there's a new land almost every day and um, there's like the land of topsy-turvy and they go up into these lands and sometimes it looks like they're not going to escape, sometimes they get into mischief and um, so I loved that book. Obviously, Harry Potter. I was, I think, would I have been? About seven when I first started reading them because they were just sort of coming out um, and then it got to the stage where like me and my mum were waiting every single time a new book was being announced to be released and we'd run and get it from the shop. Um, this was one that I liked as I was a little bit older, Princess Diaries. There's a, a film about this one, um, but the books are brilliant. I really liked that one. I'll save that one to last. So my favourite, favourite book from when I was a child is called The Owl Tree. As you can see, it's a bit battered because I've read it lots and lots. Um, and it's um, a lovely story about um, a boy who goes to live at his grandma's house and doesn't really enjoy living there and then out of his bedroom window one night he sees an owl in a tree and um, somebody wants to, oh the tree's in the next door neighbour's garden 
and they want to cut the tree down which means that the owl will have to leave and he doesn't want he obviously doesn't want the owl to leave because um he's grown to care for it it's a fantastic book and i actually have this in my classroom for my class to read i love this book and my last book um which i'm dead excited about is called once upon a rhyme and it was a competition that we did i think i was in year six and um if you won the competition you got your older in year five um you got your poem published in it and i actually had my poem published in this book you can see my name right there um i like holidays <laughs> I like chocolate, I like friends, I like football, but holidays are the best. Holidays are fun, holidays are good, especially when you're by the pool lying in the sun. Yeah, so I'm a published author. So there you have it, they're my favourite books from when I was younger, although if I'm being honest I would still read most of those books now. Um, if I can find that when Mum turned into a monster book I'll have to show you because it was mine and my sister's favourite book when we were younger. Comment down below to let me know what your favourite books are from either now or when you were a lot younger. And take care and I'll see you soon.